Creating a competitive edge, securing long-term market access, improving your environmental credentials are increasingly important for New Zealand manufacturers. As New Zealand's leading land-based environmental research organisation, Landcare Research can help. By lifecycle uh, management and lifecycle assessment, we mean thinking about products from a cradle-to-grave cradle perspective. So right from conception, right through to their disposal, and what the environmental impacts are involved right across your supply chain. Our two-year life cycle management research project involved six manufacturers and had the strong support of New Zealand's Trade and Enterprise and Business New Zealand, the Ministry of Economic Development and the Ministry for the Environment. Through workshops and practical activities, the six companies learnt key aspects where the life cycle approach could be applied to their business, with the goal of identifying improvements and efficiencies beyond the factory floor. LCA is a tool, a hard tool if you like. It's a quantitative measuring um, system um, that allows you to look at the environmental impacts or environmental hotspots of a particular product across its um, life cycle, across its supply chain. Um, life cycle management is actually really what you do about that when you know where the impacts are, what you can do to reduce it, how you can you design out those problems, how can you make it easier, to easier for the consumer to reduce their environmental impact and other measures like that. Hawke's Bay-based design firm David Truebridge undertook LCA of their Swish Light as part of their involvement in the programme, and it's fair to say the findings have given them new ideas. For one of their major markets, they found the electricity use of the lamp during its lifetime produces a high environmental impact. The end use was massive compared to anything that we were doing, kind of in the production end of it. So it's something we're looking into right now is, I guess, uh, sourcing really well-made direct replacement LED light sources that we can then offer to the consumer, I guess, at, at a cost, or at, at our cost, I guess, and maybe just pass it on to them just as a way to try to influence that end-use phase, which seems incredibly uh, impactful, I guess, on the environment. David Truebridge himself admits the life cycle management program has been challenging for a small business, but he is hopeful that over time the financial costs will be recouped as environmental requirements become more stringent. It, it's, it's not a market driven thing. I mean, you could almost say that economically it's not at this, at this point so far been advantageous to us. It, it's, it's a moral thing, it's a principle. And, and if I believe these things, then I can't not put them into practice. And that's the driving force. It's, it's not about money. It's, it's, it's about things you believe in and, and, and actually acting on them. I think life cycle management means different things to different companies. Um, across the spread of our case study companies, several companies have approached it very much from a higher profits, cost savings, efficiencies angle. Other companies have like AHI, for example, or maybe Verda. Um, but other companies like David Truebridge have very much taken the and moral philosophy position that they should be doing the right thing on the environment and that's all good because it means the basket of tools within LCM really reflects that and really works in terms of what the market's asking for and answering those needs of your customers. And really it matters little what each company's motivations are. Life cycle management offers a range of tools to boost environmental performance in each individual business. AHI is a case in point. The LCA or the old CIA part of it provided it, it provided some real kind of data to give us a better understanding of that of our environmental um, footprint that we just we just didn't didn't have previously. We're not redesigning the product radically, making any changes as a result of the program, but um, we we have an, uh, a, a bigger focus on uh, waste management. Uh, and the, the energy inputs that are going into um, our product, um, more so than what we had. Reductions that this company never thought existed. The knowledge that we gained out of it has, has been really good. All of a sudden you do discover that there is some money, there is quite a lot of money to be made, um, purely by looking at it from an environmental perspective. Creates a basically win win. You know, the environment's winning on one hand, and then where's the company winning on the other hand, and it? yeah. it's making us more competitive and we're getting some cost reductions.
The goal of Landcare Research is smarter, greener and more competitive New Zealand businesses. Our life cycle management is a key component in achieving that.